Hello and welcome to another episode of Project Supercar and today we've got some sun so all being well I should be able to remove the core support on the donor car. in the last episode rain stopped play so we didn't get very far but today it's sunny all day so fingers crossed I'm still I've still got to figure out how to drain the coolant on this thing I don't want to just pull the hose from the bottom because it's going to make a mess but um, it doesn't seem to be a drain plug on this thing so I'm going to take another look I'll just jack it up again take a better look I think the only way to do it is to pull this clip inside there, I don't know if you can quite make that out, and then this hose might pull away. But it's going to make a mess. I don't know how successful this is going to be, catching all this. <sighs> That's on there. I don't want to chance it. I don't want to bust it. Let's see if we can take the radiator out. Ooh. I'm just going to remove the air conditioning radiator here. Um, this car is about 18 years old and the aircon stopped working a long time ago. I don't think it's faulty, um, I just think that the gas has uh, evaporated you know, over the many years, so there is none left in this one. Don't forget to put any bolts back so you don't lose them and label up all the connectors. Do this as you go along so you don't forget where they go. This looks like the power steering cooling line and it's just bolted to the core support right there. 
So I'll undo that, get this out of the way. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is. I think it's some sort of ambient air temperature, just outside temperature. Um, I'm going to label it up as that and just make a note of where it is on the car. There's a lower bolt and clamp just underneath the radiator and the air con fan. So I'll just undo that now. Oh dear, it looks like one of the fins on my uh, aircon radiator is snapped off. That's not good. See, I, I want to use this. I want uh, aircon in my supercar. In fact, this has dual climate control, so I want to transplant all that into my supercar. But uh, this isn't helping. I'll just remove this air scoop. It might just give me a little bit extra space. Two body drive screws in the top. Don't forget to put the screws back in. There are two plastic pegs that hold the top of the radiator into the core support. There's one there, one back here. I'll try and bring the camera in, see if it will focus as I pull one of the pegs out. I'm going to remove the clip for the upper hose that goes into the top of the radiator. I think I'm going to try just pulling the radiator out a little bit, see if I can get more access to the lower hose. Top hose is undone. Yeah, it's making a mess. Right, the radiator is off. Well, disconnected from the hoses. I'm just going to have to trace back these wires so I can uh, disconnect it from the car. And then we can have a closer look at this core support. Take a look at this wiring. This is not how Audi intended it to be. Someone has been here before me. So I just have to label all these up, 
and then the uh, radiator should be separate from the car. These clips have seen better days. With the radiator removed, I can turn it upside down. Now let's take a look and see if there's a drain plug. Well, I can't find one. Come on Audi, you can do better than this. With the radiator removed, I found a problem. Not so much about the car, but um, my uh, supercar design. I was hoping to use the fans and the radiator from this donor but the fans well one of them is connected to the front of the engine okay that's going to have to be removed but this second fan this electric secondary fan is part of the core support it is not part of the radiator so i'll have to try and figure something out um, yeah, that's going to be a problem. So either I try and find a uh, replacement radiator and fan system from another donor, or I figure out a way of making this work. But we'll have to figure that out in another episode. With the radiator removed, I'm going to remove the core support. But of course, the coolant went everywhere. So I'm going to put this down just so I don't get soaked. I think I'll just undo the uh, four bolts at the top, see uh, how much slack I can get. Just a couple of bolts either side. Couple there. Couple there. Okay, it's not going to come off. It looks like there's some sort of engine mount in the front here. Now I thought this was some sort of bump. I didn't think it was part of the core support. I thought it was just like a rubber bump, you know. But uh, no, so I'm going to try and undo this. This is what I'm talking about. Some sort of lower engine mount. So I have to reach up in there. Uh, hopefully you can make this out. And undo. Those nuts, or bolts, should I say? Phew, done. Okay, you've got to use a spanner to get up in there. There's not enough space to get a ratchet and a socket, but it's undone. It's loose now, so this should just pull away. Well, I think there's a cable in there to uh, for the bonnet latch. Uh, but I'll deal with that in a second. But yeah, this should just pull away now. Oh, there's a little sensor in here. So it's not exactly going to pull away at the moment. As you can see, there's a whole load of cables and wires in here. 
Now there was a switch, there's a switch inside the latch. Um, this was actually broken before I got here. But uh, I'll have to label that up so I, I know what it is. So let's unclip these. I'll just undo these four bolts and then remove the latch completely and then the cable can then be removed from the core support. Ryan Little. <laughs> Turns out this was a bump after all. It's not an engine mount. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll undo these two bolts, I can remove this frame, and then I can bolt this back together again. support removed, I think I'll give this engine bay a good dusting and blow out all of these cobwebs and leaves and dead spiders and all sorts of nasty stuff. a bit better. Not fantastic but it's got most of the cobwebs out. Well the front of this car's coming a lot shorter so I think that'll do for this episode and uh, I've got to push this thing back. Okay. Well in the next episode, we'll carry on with the strip down of this thing and we'll take these intercoolers off and we'll see if I can uh, fit them onto my uh, supercar. That'll be good. So I'll see you in the next one. Oh, great. Bye for now. And again. Apocalypse.